Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Lisa. And today I'm gonna to be working on creating the signature for the cover that I made recently. I still love this, it feels so squishy. Fun, yeah, I love it. So I'm gonna put that aside for now because we are not going to put the signature in necessarily. Um, I'm gonna show you some of the pages um, that I'm gonna to add to these that I printed uh, and then after we get that, I've got a pocket that I want to show you that I've created along with a freebie. And also, um, after that, probably pull some ephemera from my to done box to add to uh, this. All right, so I have this is uh, 12 pages, and I believe I showed the I did I showed it in the last video when I was making the cover how I printed on the back of each um, kind of a generic -y, uh, simple print just to get it backed so that they are double-sided uh, but since there's only 12 I wanted to add in some a few more pages to it to beef it up a little bit so move that out of the way well now I just need to no we'll move it out of the way okay so what I've decided to do is and I've created them already because I've shown how to do these um, already and I will link this video below so these are my uh, pages similar to what I created when I did my winter grab one of these when I did my winter Christmas where I take a uh, book page and I take some scrap of paper that I had and I fold it in half and glued it to one of these pages and then glued it to one of these pages and then I took another one and glued it to that one. So, um, again, I'll link the video if you haven't, did not see it before. Uh, this one started to rip a little, so I did put a little washi tape on that one. Um, but yeah, so basically, um, I've chose some of these, some Florentine papers, as well as these. And these are from a uh, almanac that I have found. I am... Uh, going to this is what I am putting in the my coffee account as a freebie it has all of the months of the year all 12 months and then there's a cover sheet that goes with it and a couple other sheets that I have uh, put in there um, but what's fun about these is um, and you'll see I'll, I make a pocket out of this top but there's lots of uh, numbers and dates and little square things to use uh, pictures headers um, yeah, just lots of fun stuff to be able to um, pick and choose what you want to use for this almanac. So again, you'll be able to find this almanac as a freebie in my coffee account, and that is also linked in the bottom. All right, so what I did for these two pages is, again, I put um, a decorative page on this side. I used a lot of the ones I did in this winter Christmas, the Florentine papers that I found. Um, for that and then I used one of the sheets from the almanac it's fun they got old somebody wrote in there and they still copied it um, but the what I did different was I created these side pockets from the almanac sheets and let me show you I got a couple I've already uh, print and cut it print and cut it I sound like a two-year-old I cut it it uh, print tid and cut out already I got a few of those done um, but I just want to show you how I did them like I said I had um, these are the printouts from the almanac and all I did was uh, fold them on the top just to highlight the top here now since I did print these on thinner copier paper I printed them a long time ago so I didn't think about putting in a heavier um, I did glue the two layers together for this but if you print it on heavier cardstock, you could probably get away with one. Um, but like I said, I this is really thin, thin copy paper. Um, but all I did was glue it onto itself. And cut it. Um, so the bottom part, I still have um, a lot of fun numbers and dates that I'll be able to use for things got a whole pile of them <laughs> all right and then after I did that we take the I took the hole punch or not yeah circle punch 
and just did a little divot for that and get my ink out uh, went and just inked it all around so I made myself a nice side corner tuck um, since it is two layers it definitely is a little bit thicker feeling and will hold up a little bit better so all right I'm gonna close this up because I'll be using the glitter glue all right, so what I've done is on the Florentine page of the flip out, I've done it on one side so that I will have a place to be able to um, put something in later. All right, so dun dun dun. I have a page on that one, a pocket on that one. This one I've not added a pocket to, but I think I'm gonna. Um, I have this one, same thing. And this one is from that Florentine kind of thing. Um, I did put a music page on this one though, because I thought this kind of looked a little whimsical. And this one, I put a ledger page. Um, I do have a pocket on that one. But I think I'm gonna try to get these worked into these pages so that I know which side I wanna put a pocket on, if that makes sense. Okay, all right, so. I think I'll skip that, and this might be a fun one to put here because there's some blues. Yeah, so I'll put that here. And let's see. Skip to, skip to my loo. nice about this is these can go pretty much any direction I want them to go. All right, so we got that one. One, two, let's get that. And let's put this one. Yeah, like that there. And one and a two. I feel like one is a welcome. A one and a two. And a one. And the two. That's nice. That's got blue with it. So let's do that and put it here. Okay. All right. Um, this is sticking out a little farther um, because, again, they were um, pages glued together with a bit of a border on there. But I'm pretty sure this should be fine because my folder I made extra big for this specific purpose of having a little bit of room. That blue one looks a little long, but we'll see after it gets pulled in and sewn in. Um, might be okay. Now we could probably just go and hand trim that back a little bit if I had to. Okay. All right, so. Let's see where I wanna put my pockets. All right, so I've got a pocket on this one. One on the outside. And I think I'm going to flip that one around because it was Florentine and then this one was not Florentine. So this one will be Florentine. And I randomly picked. Um, I didn't necessarily pick fall ones. The first one was what, December? I put, I forget now. There it is, August. So I have January, November, May, and July. Um, I just th thought they were kind of fun ones to do. There are some weird ones in there too. I'm just saying, um, olden times were a little weird. So, I think I kind of like that one there. Okay, let's get... So I'm just going to do the three sides, or the top and bottom, and then the back side away from the hole so I can make it into a pocket. And it'll leave a little bit of room, just in case I've gotta go back and trim that at all, like that one. I think, I don't have a pocket on there. Oh, I do have a pocket on that one already. Okay. All right, so then, Flip that around so it is 
not Florentine. And then that one is Florentine, and I've got the December one on there. Okay. And then we'll go on this side. Okay, so for this Florentine, I'm going to stick it on the back side. And I think I like the July one. Yeah, let's do July. Again, we'll leave a bit of room just in case I need to trim that page a little. Okay, we got one on the other side. And then this one. And we'll put it on the back side. I think we're going to do May. For this one, since it says blossoms, not that this is really floral, but it's kind of florally. Oops, right off the page. Okay, and then the other side. And it looks like I've got an extra one. Okay. All right. This will be fun to, like I said, be able to tuck something into that and go from there. So, yeah, so those uh, freebies, the freebie is going to be on the website or on the coffee account to download to get those almanac pages. With lots of fun things to do with them. Yeah. Okay, so I think I'm going to put the video on uh, pause right now. I'm going to go grab my to done box so I can see if I can find other pockets um, tags specifically I think I'm gonna have to find some tags um, mostly to be able to stick into those uh, pockets but then I've got other pages where I can uh, put some stuff down so okay so I will be right back with those all right I am back and ready to add my pockets and such now, off camera, I did go ahead and bind up my signature, um, added those pages to the book. Um, I've done that quite a few times. Um, if, if you want, I can link up one of the videos where I do it, but it's the uh, same, is this flipping up? Oh, just a little. Uh, same process is uh, normal, but um, yeah. So I did this off camera, so we don't have to worry about it. Um, but I am going to insert uh, the video of me doing it um, in high-speed motion. Okay, so how I bind the signatures is I will uh, put them in the center as best I can, and then I'm going to put binder clips on one on each side to get them leveled in there, and then finish up with the other four. Once I feel that they are securely in there, I'm going to get out my pokey tool, the official term, and poke a hole through the center, uh, eyeballing it, and then I usually poke a hole from the top and the bottom, about an inch and a half or so um, from the top and the bottom, trying to push all the way through, make sure I give a big enough hole. All right, next I'm going to take uh, my string, measure it three times the length of the cover, and get my needle out and thread my string. Um, I go through the center, and then I'll come up either the bottom or the top, and then go back down the opposite end. And once that's through, I'm going to come back up and go out or back down through the center. And release my binder clip so I can pull the signature closer to the cover. I'm going to snug up my string, make sure, make sure it's uh, tight on the inside and outside, and put one string on both sides. Triple knot it once I figure out if it's tight enough. And there we go. Fluff it out, and we are all done. Boy, I wish it went as fast as normal life. But that's it, one bound cover. All right, there we go. And we have a signature in. And I'm gonna get some glue for this little corner that just popped up just ever so slightly. There we go. Okay, so um, I'm gonna go through my to done box, as I said earlier, and we're gonna pull out some pockets, such um, to put in uh, tags. I think a lot of the things I'm gonna need to find is 
um, tags and such like that. Um, I have pulled my fun souvenir photo, souvenir photo um, cars that I did in a recent video. If you haven't uh, seen that video, you should check it out. Um, there is also a freebie involved um, with this, um, as well as the freebie that is involved with this. So, um, lots of freebies out there to check out, but I want to hold on to these for um, to go into this book at some place. So, all right, so I'm gonna put this to the side for now. Might still reference it to see what we have, but nope, let's put the pin on the glue. All right, so hopefully your day is going well. Glue all over my fingers. We will start by pulling out the first batch of tag things and see if there's something that I wanna put in there. Um, that could be kind of cute, a little earthy. Maybe. Sort of has the colors, even though it's fruit. It has a lot of that same colors. Actually, that is the that is the flip out. That goes with this. <laughs> Butterfly. I'd really like to put one of those. That could be pretty. Maybe. Little old people. <laughs> oh, definitely. Possibly. I don't think I want the flowers. Oh, most definitely. Uh, that's a maybe. Even though there's flowers on there, I like the colors. All right, let's see. I think these are just all blank tags, if I'm not mistaken. That could be a fold around. Okay. All right, I think these are all the blank tags. So I'll need that when I figure out if I need to make some. I think these are probably a perfect size for those almanac pockets. Yes, they are. Okay, pull those out just because they are the right size. For now, if I don't find some in there, I'll have to make some of our own. Okay. All right, now to some completed ones. Now these are all the watercolor ones. I don't think I want to use any of those. These are undecorated fall ones, again. I'll keep those in mind. Well, let's put them up here because by luck I forgot. Okay. All right. So some more pockets and folds. This might be cool. I like that. Oh, you're a little bright. Look, a Q pocket and an eye pocket. Gotta pull those. Okay, won't need any more of those then. Let's see. That would have to be decorated. Well, with that, we'll get quite a few in here actually that would probably work. And pocket. Oh, okay, let's see. We got our flip flap, flip flap tucks here. Oh, we got lots of stuff. That's a maybe. Okay. <laughs> 
Dex pile. Alright. Don't really see any of those going in there. That's a maybe. That's a maybe. Un, unfulfilled, un. undecorated. That's the word I'm looking for. Undecorated. Oh, that is so pretty. Spring flowers, but I like the colors. I'll give it a shot. Okay. All right, I think the next batch, though, is all, and I keep forgetting to do this, is pages I could enter. I guess I have that already. Be there. Yeah, see, some of these are bigger where I could have added them as pages. One of those photo sleeves. Yeah, see, those should have been entered as page. I keep forgetting to look for things that I could enter as pages. I think I put one of those in there already. Yeah, see, all these could be pages. That was a page. Yeah, these are all pages. I can remember to look for those. A couple of these would have went well in here. Okay. I think I said it last time. I did one too. I was supposed to remember, but I did not. Okay. All right. So, got some tall, skinny stuff here. That could definitely work. Let's see. Where's the rest of them? There are more brighter colors. This still has to be put together, right? Yep. All right, I think the rest are... Yeah, the rest are tall flowers. All right, and little tags. Let's see what I got. I have a couple. Mostly spring, though. Okay. I'll have to come back to that. All right. Well, I think I have quite a pile, actually. I'm sure I have way more than I need. So let me get my to-done box out of the way here. And these are the blanks, in case I need to make a tag. And these are my way too many pockets. Okay. All right, let's see. I think, all right, so I wanna definitely see if I can get some of these letter ones in there. Okay, a couple of those, so. Might even be fun out here to put as a big pocket. We'll see. All right, even maybe, I wonder, those might be fun. You got the 
tuck spot there. You can put something in there. And the beginning, I don't think I have another big one though. I think the other ones are smaller. Z1 at the end. We'll think about, we'll think about that. Okay. Right there, I think I like that. It says August, looks like some little kid that'd be sleeping in August. Yeah, I like it. Have him peeking his head out. Cute. Okay. Now, I was thinking about, I saw a page that had, yes, the blue, two blues. I thought this would be a great page for this one which would be a tuck or a pocket. So we're definitely gonna do that one. Okay, put that there. pre-made tag so it looks like I'm gonna be just putting pockets in today and going back and making some tags okay all right so I think we need to put something here and something a little more colorful would be good Lots of pockets on there. How about, ooh, how about, where'd you go? I really like the colors on that, but I still, I think that might be just too springy. It's a little bit more the color speed. Let's glue this one down and I am going to glue the whole thing down since it's a pocket. I could make it another tuck but I think I just want one place for a pocket. Okay. All right, so let's go one, two, pocket. Okay, about five in. One, two, three, pocket. Somewhere around there. You need to be on that side, so you're not gonna work there. You are not gonna work there. You are a pocket. Oh, wouldn't you look pretty there? Yeah, I like that. That has got a May date on there, so yeah, I like that one, okay. pocket but I think maybe I like that one it's got the blue and pink that's there that could easily be a nice place to even put her okay let's do her all right um, this was something else I did with the um, the bigger sheets that were in for um, the signature pages is I did 
cut them apart and made these sew-in pocket pages. So it is one of the bigger sheets. And I just folded it down and used the bottom part instead of how there's a top, there's a bottom part like this. It's got the solid and the top, so I just use the bottom part for the pocket. Um, and then I've got in the freebies, we have the smaller versions too um, that have been shrunk down that I've used for those. But this was another uh, thing that I did with the, the bigger ones because they really do kind of stand on their own like that. Beautiful. I love it. Okay. All right. I really, 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 really. So I don't think I'm going to be able to do a wrap around because most of these blanks, as I drop it anyway, <laughs> have letters on the front. So I'll probably skip that part anyway. But. Something in here. It's probably be not the worst thing. I do kind of like that because the colors are similar. Put that there is a side tuck. Like that. I think. I do think. Alright, so I want to put these two. another front project if you didn't check out this is the uh, flip up hidden journaling spot I've got the vellum on here that I've uh, sewn I've also stapled some uh, but it's um, they're glued to the back of the vellum so that they can still use the whole thing so yeah cute all right so there's that and I do kind of like that with that. I need to back this? No. Just need to get it to unroll a little. There we go. Okay, cute. All right, so um, I do think that I want to put these in the front pockets and be able to stick bigger journaling cards there. Um, I recently acquired some really large um, index cards and they have, a bet, they have a good chance of fitting in there to be able to make something fun with that. So there's a project for the future. All right, yep, let's glue that down as a pocket. So not only will it be a pocket, then I'll be able to stick something in. Got the extra spot to write something. And then we've got the journal card that you could use. Now I could, I have that created like I could do a pocket, but that could also go in there like that. I felt like it. They're perfect size for those, aren't they? Uh, these were uh, made with the medium size index cards. Uh, these were made with the smaller index cards. Oh yeah, that would be... I'll have to mull that one over. Because I kind of like seeing both sides of them. But it'd be kind of fun that they'd be hidden. Like a little souvenir book. Got the right colors and then pull it out and oh look there and oh look another place to journal oh i think i'll do that <laughs> okay place a journal place to put in there yeah okay so this one 
I made to go this way, so we can do the same thing out here. Is uh, this one is the smaller one though, so I won't be able to stick one of those bigger cards necessarily in there. I don't think. What's that? Oh. So the piece of the backing popped up. Pull glue down there. There we go. Okay. Yeah, that would still fit. Perfect. Yeah, but like I said, this is that's too big for that. I have to find one of my smaller cards, which I definitely have some. That's your bigger. I had some in there. I just didn't pull them out. Okay. No worries. Okay. All right. I think you're set. Okay. So I get tuck in there. I think I should put something there. I don't want that there. I still have that. Which I haven't glued down yet. Tag in there already. What's in there? I don't know if we got too many spring flowers on there though. It's one of the photo envelopes. What's on this side? Oh, let's see. Would have been cute to do the flip out. That's too close to that one, but is there another place I could put this flip out? Like right here, maybe. that that's for sure Got another place I could put a journal card in Got the same colors the browns and the pinks okay I talked myself into it <laughs> all right so I need to make this a tuck on that side I'm just gonna put a little glue down the center Just uh, make sure it stays in the inside, inside the inside of that page there. Probably should have moved it up a little. So you'll go in there. Your pocket, though, you're not gonna go in there. But yeah, a little puck there. I'll have a little place I stick up in there, and glue leaked out. Bummer. Alright, I guess not putting the glue in there is probably a good thing. So, let us find fix anything, right? Yeah, okay. Okay, 
I need to get a tag in there, tag in there. That'll be good. Something right here. I'm doing it. I, I like it a lot. I have one of those pages in there, though. Oh, the dilemma of it all, right? Do you, do you put the same stuff in there? Do you like putting the same stuff in there? Or do you like putting different things in there? You have to be decorated still. I just need to make tags for you, but I like your grays. Oh, the dilemma of it all. Okay, you're a wraparound, so you're not gonna work, right? Yeah, because you would be. Yeah. No, I could do it that way. Okay, you are in contention. You are not. contention. You are not. You got a bird with a bird. I don't know, I just keep going to that one, don't I? There's always that one. Just doing it. I'm just doing it is all I gotta say. See, glue is on it. Can't turn around now. Okay. You're a little too big. But she would be pretty in there, wouldn't she? I don't know if I could trim her down. And back her up a little bit. She would be pretty in there. I can pivot. <laughs> All right, so we're going to take a little bit off of that side. And then we'll take a little bit off of that side. Just again. Okay. Every time I do one of these like this, I think of that, um, and I've seen it so much recently due to uh, Matthew Perry passing away, the Friends um, guy, that scene where they're going up the stairs with the pivot, pivot. Um, they show the bloopers all the time with him laughing, especially recently. But um, yeah, it's just it's just a hoot. So every time I do something like that in my head, I'm like pivot, pivot, because that's what I'm doing away from my original thought. All right, so we're gonna have to go back and recorner those, but that's okay. This is one of my last coffee dyed sheets I have. 
just have to go do another batch. I love when I get my oven rack on there. <laughs> okay. you're just a oh you did a lot of times a single sheet won't cut like that right there of course the only scissors handy are the ginormous ones not sure where the little guys are Throw a little ink on the edge of this. Okay. All right. I think that's got plenty of time to dry. Yeah, cute. And I'll probably find some sort of uh, labels or something to put on there um, just to add a little bit of something. Maybe not, it's pretty, but there's a good chance I'll find something just to put there. Something easy, maybe a fabric label would be pretty there. Okay. All right. I keep thinking you're coming off, but you're the flip flopper. So you're not coming off. All right, well, let's see. Um, I'm definitely going to have to. Um, it wasn't closing even before, um, but I'm definitely going to have to put some sort of ties on here. Okay, so I got that, so I'll need a tall tall journal card for there. And there's another journaling spot in there, lots of journal spots. And we got journal card in there. You can write on there if you wanted to. Nice little pocket right there, tall tag we'll be able to stick in. card in there. I don't know if I have any. Nice little flip there. Journal card in there. Place to write there. Another place to write there. Another place to put a journal card in there. Got to tuck something in there. Definitely don't want anything there. I might want something there. If I do that, I can get a journal card, tag in there, a little tag in there. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, let's do two sides so I can have a tuck as well. Okay. That's 
done. That was, yeah, that was taken care of. Now the spots are right in there. Need a card in there. Gonna call you done. say book like letters that could be kind of interesting I don't know just too yellow to that I think that could work hmm. I don't like the bird facing that way definitely go here. I just don't have a pocket that off the top of my head I like to put there. Do I? No, I do not. So maybe I just attach them as a tuck. They're cute. All right, stand in there. I'm going to do that. All right, we're going to attach you folks. You're going to live in here by the letter Y, because why not? Right, why not? Yeah, beautiful. And the last place, another one in there. The wrap around the head that I wanted to use. Yeah, I'm not sure where I went to. Okay, well. Alright, well, I think that is going to be enough for this video. I've definitely jam-packed a lot of stuff into one video. Alright, so, um, I guess my next, my next mission is to create some pockets that will go. This is going to bother me. Um, create some more things to go into the pockets. And probably starting with doing some fun tags or things that I can use um, to put in these. So I'll figure out what I want to do with those, as well as finding and doing more tags that will fit in this size, which is more of the this size. Okay. All right. Well, that is going to be it for me today, especially since I've lost my pen again. Heavens to Murgatroyd. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. And I left a spare one laying on here earlier. There it is. Because I knew I kept losing it. I think I need to get a magnet or something attached to it and fill it. Okay, well, uh, that is going to be it for my video today. If you have not subscribed to my channel and you want to see future videos on uh, me finishing up this journal, creating some more of these uh, index card journal uh, cards, uh, please subscribe to my channel. And if you like the video, a thumbs up would be very helpful to be able to spread the love. Um, around for other people to see. 
yeah. All right, well, that is going to be it for me today. Thanks so much for stopping by, and as usual, I hope you have a wonderful and creative day. Bye now.